Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 20th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun, showing three hours of imagery as SDO is still down, looking at some big plasma filaments attached to the surface, and as well about seven Earth-facing sunspots right now outgoing coronal hole let's have a quick look here at the incoming imagery as there is a sizable sunspot turning into view and growing we're going to be keeping an eye on our sun as it's gone quiet after seeing quite a few m-class solar flares over the past few days heightened solar and geomagnetic activity has been prevalent Here's a look at the outgoing active sunspot region that produced all the M-class solar flares. 193 angstroms here pointing out the dark, cooled region on our sun in the top right-hand corner that did increase our solar winds up to about 600 kilometers per, se per second. Nothing serious, but we do have a small one developing in the southern polar region of the sun. Here's another look at our sun today and thank you so much for tuning in and pressing play today please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoy these daily updates please let me know in the comments section let me know where you're watching from as well quick look quick here look at here at our sunspot, sunspot regions seven, seven that are, that are earth facing 4262 4254 and 4252 all, all very similar, similar in size and complexity, and complexity. Current space, Current space weather, weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts. Solar winds are coming in at 556 kilometers per second. Looking at the solar X-ray flux, two minor solar M-class solar flares the past 24 hours. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity is low as well with a KP2. Now let's have a look at our space weather spiral showing our next incoming geomagnetic event. And we are expecting this coronal hole wind stream to bombard us for the next 48 hours to 72 hours and small CMEs coming towards Earth. Here's a look at tonight's Aurora's forecast and tomorrow's. A little more prevalent tonight than tomorrow. Lasco 3, let's show from the 13th onward. So seven days on our sun, cosmic energies leaving our sun. Big, big CME there on the 15th, which produced three, three coronal, coronal mass ejections, ejections that, affected that affected our planet just days, just days ago. ago. Documented, documented here with Daily Events Worldwide in the shorts. If you haven't been, you haven't been keeping up to date on those daily shorts, please tune, please tune in. in. That's, all, That's all I've been able to do recently with no internet, but we're back. And thank you, and thank so, you so much again for being here, being here and a part of this community. community. I appreciate each and, each and every one of you. We've been, We've been getting so close, so close to 100,000 followers, and I've seen a lot of friends and, friends and family leave as I, as I have not been able to upload as, as usual or as often, as often as I should be. So I apologize, so I apologize for the inconvenience and the interruption, the interruption in services, services, but we're back. But we're back. And, please, and please, get in the comment, in the comment section, section get, a thumbs, get a, thumbs up. Up. a thumbs up. We need a thousand likes on this video. Let's go. Let's, go. let's, grow. let's grow right now. Right now. This was, this our, was sun. our sun and all of its, and all of its cosmic energies leaving the surface, the surface over, the past, over the past seven days. Amazing, Amazing stuff. stuff. Now let's get, now to, let's get to earthquakes as something, something developing here. here. Really low, really low earthquakes. earthquakes. USGS is only reporting 150, 150 earthquakes, earthquakes in the past 24 hours. hours. But, we've but we've seen some deep ones here. Indonesia, Indonesia and through the Banda Sea. The Philippines, the Philippines sizable 5.8 magnitude, the largest last 24 hours. Deepest, deepest being in Indonesia, Indonesia there, 540 kilometer depth. Notable, Notable 5.1 earthquake, earthquake there in Japan. Japan. And as, well, and as well, Pakistan, Pakistan with a 4.7 magnitude earthquake, very notable, very notable for the region. 4.5 here, African plate towards the Earth to Ale volcano. And as well, a 4.4 earthquake there towards Campi Flegri. That's right, an ancient super volcano over Europe's soil. And a notable earthquake here, the United Kingdom. 3.9 earthquake just south of Scotland. 4.6 there, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 4.7 north of Drake's Passage, and a sizable 5.0 magnitude earthquake rocking Dominican Republic. 
and it's all, and it's all of a sudden, sudden gone really quiet Central through Central America, America but, North but North America, America notable North earthquake there, 3.0, there, 3.0 lively, lively Canada, Canada, Ontario towards Sudbury, mining, mining region, region but, still but still notable earthquake. That's the, That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, also, also seeing activity up into Alaska and Kamchatka still. That has, that has been a very active, active region. And as we go, as we go into winter, winter we're, going we're going to see this activity increase. Notable, Notable earthquake, earthquake there, 4.2 2 earthquake north, north of northwest, northwest of the Hawaiian Islands. Islands. Watch, for Watch for a possible Mauna Loa eruption here in the near future. It was quite, it was quite an effusive and explosive eruption, eruption at Kilauea Volcano. volcano. I don't think we've seen enough release just yet. That pressure release valve is unbelievable if you haven't seen it please check it out here's a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world piling up in indonesia and the philippines all of a sudden gone quiet through the south american plate and central america We're going to be watching this region over the next little while and as well up into alaska you live in an earthquake prone zone stay safe and healthy aware and prepared and have a plan now let's, get now let's get to world weather. We're going to start out by looking at the poor vortex. On the last update, this is where it was, what it looked like, and how strong it was in the southern hemisphere. And you can see it stretched towards South America. Well, this is our southern polar vortex right now. It is in a different position, and it is losing its velocity. It's starting to lose its size as well. As we, As we embark winter on winter for the northern, the northern hemisphere, this is all going to shift actually, actually pretty quickly over the next six weeks. By November 2nd, most of the northern, of the northern, northern hemisphere will, will definitely, definitely be filling winter. winter. Here is a look, here is a look at, at the northern, northern polar, polar vortex, vortex right, right now, starting, starting to ramp up and get very cold through parts of Europe. Parts of Europe. Parts of Europe. I think, I think you, guys you guys might be the first ones, ones to see a major significant snowfall. There's the there's polar, the polar vortex, vortex. There, is there is our polar, polar regions. regions. Last year versus this year. Last year. And this year. This year. See, the see the shifts that we were, that we're seeing over the last decade. decade. I've, been I've been documenting this here with daily, with daily events, events worldwide. worldwide. We've seen the difference. The big changes, big changes are coming. Are coming. And this, and this will change, will change everything. Change everything. Just, Just wait until I show you the wind gust, wind gust models for the, for the northern hemisphere over the next two weeks. As we're going to see, gonna see some cyclone bombs creating in both the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. Now, speaking, now, speaking of, of the Atlantic Ocean, Ocean, let's just have a look at the, at the Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean currents. currents. Let's focus, let's focus in, on in on that right now. Right now. We're going to switch, switch this grid over to currents. And the sea surface, this is all, this is all from an open source media website, website called nullschool.com. You can check, you can check out, out all the different layers and different data that is set here in this, on this, on this site. It's amazing, it's amazing. Please but please check, check this out. I'm going to show you this year's Atlantic Ocean current as it spreads, as it spreads into the North Atlantic from the Gulf. Now, now look at the width of the the jet, the jet streams that are, that are funneling, funneling all this Gulf moisture into the North Atlantic. This is this, this, is this year, 2025. 2025. Now, let's now let's go back, back to 2024, 2024. Last, year last year at this time. time. Let's see what kind of a difference we have. Focusing, Focusing on the region in the North Atlantic, just east of the Atlantic, of the Atlantic provinces. provinces. Is there, is there is a major shift, shift here. Now, even, now if even if you go back a decade, all of, all of the, this, this jet stream, the Atlantic Ocean current, stays connected, stays connected to, the to the Gulf. This year, this year it's, not it's not connected, and it's, and it's spreading, spreading right, across right across the North Atlantic, Atlantic spreading, spreading warmer, warmer waters, waters across, the, across North the North Atlantic. At a time, at a time where, where we're actually seeing, seeing some increasingly cooler, cooler trending, trending temperatures, temperatures across, across the world, the world. We're still, We're still seeing, seeing things some things warm up, warm up on our planet as well. The Atlantic Ocean current is a big driver for how, for how our planet reacts with weather. Now, let's have, now a, let's have a look at our weather, our weather forecast. This is brought to you by uh, windy.com, uh, windy showing the wind gusts as we've got some cyclone bombs developing in both the Pacific and the Atlantic. 
Canada will be affected by some very windy storms over the next little while, and as well the United States. Gulf areas here in the long range, most likely seeing a hurricane coming out of the southern Gulf region through Honduras and then into the Caribbean. Long range forecast hurricanes heading straight into the North Atlantic. And as well, big systems bombarding and still crashing into Alaska and BC over the next little while, most likely seeing upwards of 500 centimeters of snow. So big, so big changes are on the way, and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Much love. Stay safe and healthy. Aware.